Hey guys, Steve Bellamy here. You know, with all the noobs entering the hobby that don't know a good soldering job from their backside, I thought it's time for me to make a video. So, stay tuned for Steve Bellamy's Pro Soldering Tips. Warning. The techniques used in this video are for extreme professional soldering experts. Any attempt to use these techniques by noobs could result in injury or even death. If you are a noob, always use extreme care while soldering and only implement the sweet skills demonstrated in this video after practicing for many hours and posting your own solder jobs on the Rotoriot Facebook page where the real pros can tell you how crappy it looks. Steve Bellamy will not be held responsible for any injuries that result from the use or misuse of the soldering techniques in this video. Question number one. What soldering iron to use? Everybody's always saying, get the whaler, get the hacko. Well, I ain't using no sissy tip low wattage siren iron. If I want to get the job done, then I go bigger with a trigger. <laughs> with 260 watts of power, this thing will burn solder onto a board faster than you can say cucumber. Question number dose. What type of solder do I use? It doesn't really matter. Just go down to your local hardware store in the plumbing section and get whatever they got. Just remember, the more lead, the better. Especially for eating. <laughs> Question number three. What's flux? I don't know, but without flux, it's gonna sucks. And the more, the better. Check it out. Question number four, how to tin a wire. Tinning a wire just means that you're getting solder on the end of it. It's really easy. Strip it, flux it, lots of solder, and tin it. Done. Question number five, how do you solder the wire to the board? That's simple too. It's just like tinning, but with two things instead of one. I've already pre-tinned the board for you, so now we just gotta put them together. Right on! Finally, don't worry about using too much solder on there. If it, you know, bridges connections or you get too big of a blob, it's no big deal. Electricity is really smart. It always takes the easiest route. You think it's easy to short and blow up? Of course not. Well, that's it for Steve Bellamy's Pro Soldering Tips. It's time to plug her in and we'll see you next time. Oh, what the heck? <laughs>